What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Busters, the Space Engineer series where we do all of the crazy things that you've always wanted to see in Space Engineers. Things like orbiting around the planet, things like flying up an elevator to space. How cool was that? Well today we're going to be doing something a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Well actually very similar in, in, I guess in the regards that we go from a place to another place that's very very far away. But before I tell you about that, I want to, I want to point the attention to this guy, this Nice little camera that's watching me around. I feel like a big brother is watching. This, this guy over here is recording our every move. And it's really cool because that means I can do a couple of other shots that I was, wasn't able to do. In time lapses, for instance, I'll be able to kind of uh, show uh, how it's building. You'll see it later in this episode. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. It's going to be so awesome. You're going to be like, oh my god, so cool. And, so, and it's going to be really cool. But yeah, he's over there. Say hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I don't have a wave key bound, but yeah. So that's, that's a thing that we're testing out now. Uh, should be interesting, but let's get on to what we're going to be doing today. So what do you think it's going to be? It's like the space elevator, but down. We're going to be digging. We're going to see how far we can go in Earth. Now, there's been a lot of debate in the comment section of the last video as to uh, what the answer to this one is going to be. A lot of people seem to think that the ship is going to completely despawn after a certain point. Some people think that there's going to be some sort of uh, some sort of Minecraft bedrock kind of thing, so you won't be able to dig past a certain point. And that looks really cool. It looks like I'm standing on the wall in Game of Thrones. We are the watches on the wall. No, but uh, but some people think that. Other people think you can go all the way through. So which is it? We're going to find out today. Uh, this this is going to be really interesting. Uh, we're on top of a mountain. We probably shouldn't start here, but we have a nice little base set up. So let's go. We're going to go to uh, a valley, I think, and we're going to start there. So three, two, one, zoop. Okay, welcome to the valley. We're, we're a little bit lower than where that was. That's the start of the space elevator. We're a little bit lower now, but it's kind of negligible when you consider how deep the Earth is. Now, let's talk numbers for a second. Just, just a second. Bear with me here. So, when we went up that time with the space elevator, we went up 37,000 kilometers. Actually, really, when you, when you think about it, it took me 30 minutes to do that. We only went up half the way. We only went up about 18,000 kilometers, and then we duplicated the rest of it to go the other way. And it took me 30 minutes to do that. And that's going pretty much full speed, grabbing or, or placing blocks as I go. <laughs> it took a long, long time. Now, how deep is the Earth? Well, in space engineers, all the planets have, well, all the, all the, the lifelike, uh, Earth planets have a diameter of 120 kilometers. That means the uh, the radius, which is if we want to get to the center of Earth, that's going to be what that is. The radius is 60,000 kilometers. That's more than double what we built. That well, it's it's not double, but it's it's more than it's more than double the amount that I built last time before we duplicated. This is going to take forever. So I've got a couple of ideas of how we can do it and maybe maybe make it take less time than forever. <laughs> now, I'm not going to tell you about these ideas, but what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to show rather than tell. We're going to we're going to build them and then I'll tell you about them once they're actually built. So, 3, 2, 1, building montage. All right, welcome back, guys. We spent about an hour building, and now we finally got some ships to show for it. So on your left side, we've got the automated, I don't know what to call this, automated red mobile thing that will automate to the center of the Earth, and I'll show you how that works in a bit. And then on the right, we've got the blue IKEA mobile that is actually piloted by me, and it will go towards the center of the Earth. Both of these will go towards the center of the Earth, and both of them will be super awesome, and hopefully they don't despawn, because that would suck. So... Let's get over to him. 
Okay, so we've got the automated thing. And the reason I call it the automated uh, thing, the automated digger or whatever whatever it is going to do, is because it's going to be completely automated. What we're going to do uh, is we're going to turn this baby on, let it drop. Hopefully it'll survive this little small drop right here. We're going to let it drop and we're, go we're just going to leave it. And what's going to happen is the drills are going to drill out whatever's near it. Uh, and, and it's going to basically let gravity take it to the center of the planet. Now, of course, this won't go through the center. It'll only go to the center uh, as long as it survives, which is why there's wheels all over it. But what we've got is we've got some batteries. I think there's one battery. Is one battery going to be... If one battery is not enough, I'll add more batteries in, in these little crevices. Uh, but we've got one battery, a bunch of drills that are going to drill out everything. Uh, some gyros in there, which I'm not sure why they would be needed. We've got a cockpit just in case we want to get in and do stuff with it which I'm not sure we do because there's no actual uh, way to steer this ship or way, way to fly it, like no thrusters or anything. So this is that. We're going to let this go and it's going to be super awesome. And then we've got the Ikea mobile. <laughs> so I call it the Ikea mobile because it's blue and, and yellow, obviously. But um, but this is basically just kind of like the mole we did in the series um, in, the, in the Let's Play. So it, it's got a bunch of drills on the front, like a lot. And then it's got some on the sides to dig out the sides and cl make clearance for this stuff. And finally, it's got some actual flight stuff, uh, so we can actually hop in here if we want to, and we can we can actually drive this thing. So this is going to be the second thing we do, but first, we're going to go and we're going to release the Kraken over here. We're going to release the Kraken. Here we go. Uh, okay, I didn't hear any explosions. That's a good sign. Let's break a lot of this stuff as well. We don't want, uh, we don't want this to be in the way. The ship's a lot... Okay, so there's a couple of, uh, not explosions, but just... Just some uh, tension, I would say. Some some not great sounds as well. But it's all good. Okay, so how are we going to turn this thing on? I actually haven't figured this out. I think what we could do is we can just hop in the cockpit that we built, which is somewhere. Um, actually, you know, while we're here, let's throw a couple of batteries in here just in case. Just some extra ones. Now, these might explode later because they're kind of on the outside, but at least it won't run out of power? Question mark? Um, okay, so cockpit, where are you? I do not know. It, I, I placed it on the bottom, but I don't know where the bottom is anymore. Aha! Cockpit! Okay, so we're going to hop in the cockpit and let's see. Uh, I want to press K. I want to go to all the drills and I want to see if I can, like, turn them on. Oh my god, that's so loud! I mean, it is working, but I, I don't know if I can tell them to... If I could tell them to right-click, that'd be perfect, because it's they'd, like, immediately start going down. But I don't know that I'll be able to, and I don't know that these drills will reach that. All right, I have an idea. I'm going to I'm going to get my second my my cameraman. He's going to get inside this ship and he's basically just going to hold right click the whole time. I'm going to I'm going to tape the mouse down with right click and it's going to be it, it'll work. It'll be super awesome. What the <laughs> I taped down right click. What is happening? No, 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 no. Stop explode. Ah, no. <laughs> Don't. I think the ship is What's what's breaking off? Is it the side things or at the It's still going down, so I'm going to let it keep going down. All right, tunnel, go for it. Just don't, like, do anything crazy. So it is taped down. Wait, is my... Well, there's my... <laughs> there's my other person. I guess he's not holding... Oh, it's glitched! Because it's still right-clicked! It must be glitched because the mouse never uh, stopped right-clicking, so I'm guessing the ship is still technically in right-click mode. Okay, well, in that case, person... Let's hear. Let's, uh... Here we go. Sorry! <laughs> okay, cameraman's gonna follow them down so the ship doesn't despawn. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, cameraman. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, cameraman's not actually a person. It's it's just a secondary account. So uh, so yeah, we'll let him chill there. All right, let's get to our our, our main ship right here, and we're gonna try this one out for the size. Uh, I don't know how we want to play this. I'm kind of hmm. Here, let's okay. Because it's gonna be really difficult unless we. Oh, let's... Okay, let, here's, here's what we're gonna do. No, because it should be able to fly. So as soon as I release this, it should be fine. Aha! The ship did not fall. Okay, good. Alright, are we ready to go with this one? We'll see exactly how far this goes. Let me turn on shift... Uh, not shift F10. Shift F11 so you guys can see the sim speed. Because it might go go <laughs> quite, uh, quite down a little bit. Because of all the mining that we're going to be doing. But alright, let's get in here and let's start mining. Mining away. By the way, look how I built this thing. Oh, it's so amazing. All right, we're going to start mining. Wait, why can't I go forward? What the heck? Oh, I need to convert it to... Okay. If you guys ever have this problem, convert to ship. And that'll that'll fix it. Oh, we're going down. Real fast, actually. 
This is not good. We need to get ourselves uh, vertical in the ground. Otherwise, bad things are going to happen. My guess, we don't have enough thrusters to keep ourselves up. But uh, but now we should be good. All right. I'm looking at the other screen, and it's still going down. I don't know where it is, but it's, it's definitely going down. So we're just going to hold right-click on this one. We're going to see which one goes faster. The manual miner or the... Uh, the the automatic one, I guess you could say. And we're going down. We don't really have much of a view. I mean, we got this view. This is pretty much all we all we get uh, in this thing. So, well, I mean, I don't know. This is going to take a really really long time because, as you guys know, sixty thousand meters is how deep it is. So, uh, I guess we'll go on time lapse and I'll I'll just kind of um, yeah, we'll just go. Alright, we're at about a kilometer down. It looks like the other ship has finally stopped, so let's... Oh my god, it's not even... It's not even straight. <laughs> I wonder if the other one's straight. We've got to actually go and fix the other ship because it, it stopped. Um, because it's broken so much. So I guess it wasn't a glitch, it was just kind of... I don't know, stopped or something. This one is more or less straight. Let's jump down it and see what happens. Uh, oh, this is... Oh, okay, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this one is way straight. Woo, here we are. Okay, looks like some of the stuff is working, but the bottom ones are broken. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have very much we can... Wait. They're still technically working. Let me see if I can get this guy in. All right, there we go. And just like that, the ship is back at work. All we needed to do was repair some of the, uh, the batteries. Jesus, man, it's so... <laughs> I don't know how deep this is. I should really put a marker at the, at the top. But uh, let's get back to our main ship. All right, our current ship is only about 1.8 kilometers away from the dig base. I want to see where the other ship is. Let's go up this winding path. It's not as winding now, I gotta say. We should really have like a diving board or something. I'm gonna make a diving board. Oops, didn't make. There we go. Well, oh, nope. There's our diving board. All right, are we ready? We're gonna jump in the hole. How deep do you guys think it's gonna be? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that is so deep. Oh my lord, that is, that is, yep, that's far. I'm gonna just twirl down the hole here. So happy that I'm uncreative right now. It goes farther, oh my gosh. How far is this guy? We can't even see it yet. <laughs> there it is. All right, there we go. I don't want to go through the earth. No, it's still going strong, nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do, since this one, look. This one is about three kilometers away from the base, whereas the other one was only about 1.7 or 8. Uh, we're going to follow this one instead of the other one. Um, and we're pretty much just going to let it run, because otherwise I'm going to be sitting here for like two hours waiting for this thing to actually go all the way down. So, uh, yeah, we're going to let it run. I might take a blueprint of this and go place one on the other side of the planet so they can meet up. But, uh, here, yeah, let me do that. Uh, blueprint. Beep. Static grid. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna grab that. We're, we're gonna place it on the other side of the planet. Or maybe, looking at the lag, maybe that's not a great idea. I don't know. Maybe we won't do that. <laughs> it's gonna crash our game. So, it crashed the game eventually. Uh, we're about 3.35 kilometers out of 60 that we have to get to. I think we might want to go for a different approach. So that, that approach worked pretty well. The only problem is that it had a bunch of uh, miners on the top and on the sides that weren't really doing much. So I think if we find another approach that uses less miners, we might not have any crashing issues. So let's let's do some building here real quick. All right, so I've made a couple of what I call nano miners. These are essentially very, very small miners. Hopefully, they will all be mining at the same time. So what we have to do, they're all remote controls. They've all got remote control blocks under these wheels, and the wheels are, again, there to take uh, any damage that might happen from falling. So what, what's going to happen is we're going to connect to them I don't think he's okay. 
<laughs> okay, we're gonna connect to the uh, the nano miners via this thing right here, the antenna, uh, and then from the antenna we're going to hold right click and we're gonna try and di disconnect the antenna so it loses the signal and it stays holding right click the whole time. Um, so let's see if we can get it going. All right, so unfortunately the nano little things that I was trying to make didn't work and uh, we ended up having to respawn this thing, but we couldn't respawn it underground, so we respawned it at the top and it's gonna fall down the hole. Now we did turn off uh, block damage, so that should help a little bit with uh, having to like, I don't know, do stuff. So <laughs> let's hop in this thing and uh, see, if we can, see if we can turn it back on. We should be able to place one of these randomly now. Okay, hang on. G, block tools. Grab you. Boom. That should help it start to go down. All right, there we go. We're going down again. I feel like I'm holding a GoPro now. Uh, I'm like, hey guys, this is me doing a vlog, and I'm actually the ship holding the GoPro. No, no, but yeah, we're, we're going down again. So I'm going to put it on fast mode right here, and uh, we'll see how far we get. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm making a change. So we're 7.83 kilometers down. I think we've decided now that there's no bottom. There's no bedrock or anything that we're going to hit. The ships don't get deleted. We're, we're, we're almost a sixth of the way through the planet. The only problem, well, there's a couple of problems, actually. First of all, this is taking forever. Like, it took me an hour to get down this far. It's going to take me another, uh, like, eight hours to get all the way to the middle. So we're going to make a change uh, for that. And second of all, and the reason, by the way, the reason is not the ship's getting damaged. It's not that it's going too slowly. The reason is because uh, the, the way that Space Engineers works when you're destroying voxels is that you can only destroy a certain amount and then the ship has to like fall down to that to the next level before it can then destroy the next amount. So what happens is it kind of falls down, starts destroying, falls down, starts destroying. It does that over and over. So it goes really, really slowly. Um, so that's a problem. And the second problem is that there is actually a memory leak in Space Engineers where if you right click mine for long enough, the amount of memory you use is going to go up and up and up and up until uh, it eventually crashes because of memory, um, because you don't have enough memory in your system. Uh, my system has 16 gigs. Space Engineers was using, I think, 9 gigs. Uh, like it starts using 2 gigs and then as you mine, it went up to 9. Um, and that, that would be why it crashed the first time. So we can't just go all night. Like, I can't just leave it here and go do something. And I'm not going to sit here for <laughs> for eight hours. That's a bit crazy. I need to actually get sleep at some point. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using voxel hands, which is a little system in Space Engineers where you can actually manipulate the voxels. And the voxels are the, the ground around. So if I right click right there, it will delete the voxels underneath us. So anything in this area, it will delete that so that I can go through it. Pretty neat, right? So that's exactly what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much just turn off our jetpack and fall as we hold right click. And we're gonna go until we hit center because that's what our goal is. So here we go, uh, where's down? I guess that's up, so down would be here. Uh, I'm just gonna hold right click, turn off my jetpack. Oh, gotta aim down. Okay, here we go. And it, it, it's not instant, but it does work pretty fast. Well, okay, maybe it is instant, holy crap. <laughs> okay, how far did we go? 
I think we went pretty far. We went about a kilometer there. Look how fast that was. We went a kilometer in a few seconds. So you know what? Let's just do that. Let's just let's just keep going until we hit the center. Here we go. Falling away. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna turn our jetpack every once in a while. Oh man, maybe the jetpack's gonna screw me up. Yeah, the jetpack kinda screws me up a little bit. But the problem is I go I have the speed mod on, so I go too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna end up falling through the earth, and that's not really what I want. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go until I hit 200, then I'm gonna turn the jetpack back on so I can slow myself down. Then I'm gonna go up a little bit and hit it again. This is much faster. This is way better. <laughs> this is like when we discovered with a space elevator that we could just copy and paste. It's so much faster. It works so much better. Can I go past 200? What happens? Oh, this is dangerous. Turn on jetpack. The problem, so if you go around like 500, you'll actually go through the planet, which is not what we want to do. All right, guys, I'm happy to say that we have dug to the center of the earth using the voxels, but <laughs> There's no better way to get down there than to jump off the diving board. So are you ready for like a 20 minute free fall? I think I am. Three, two, one. Here we go. We're going to hit the edge. Ah! <laughs> it was not a clean fall, but here we go. I've marked the center of the earth, by the way. That's that's the exact center of the earth. Now we're bouncing off all off the walls, but as we get, um, or as we go, it should get a bit smoother. We'll start to just kind of fall uh, like towards the center, I guess. Once we get towards the voxels, especially. Uh, we should pass the ship any second now, by the way. The ship is... It's right here somewhere. Any second now, we should be passing the ship. So when we pass the ship, that just keep in mind, that's an hour of mining is where that ship is. I don't know where it is. It should be here any second, because we only got to like eight, I think, eight kilometers. So it should be here uh, in the next few kilometers as we fall. By the way, uh, I should have probably said dizziness warning. <laughs> I imagine this could make people dizzy. There's the ship and our, uh, our our cameraman. Oh, we're actually gonna get stuck on it. Can we get out of the stuckness without? Ah, no. We have to we have to fix this. There we go. All right, here is where the voxels come in. Oh, we're in the area where I was testing voxels. Oh, there we go. We've made it. And we keep going down. Awesome. And we're kind of rimming the edge here. <laughs> but yeah, it should be pretty much a straight line now to the center. 52 kilometers. Well, oh, did we go in a wrong... Nope, we might we might Kobe our way out of here. Yes! <laughs> Alright, let's just let ourselves fall. We're going to go into to speed mode or something. And get ready, we're almost at the center of the Earth, the Molten Core. That is not so molten in this game. You'll, you'll, you can tell because our speed's still going up, but once we pass that, our speed will start going down, as long as we don't hit the side. Yeah, there we go. You'll see our speed start to go down. That's because we've passed the center of the Earth. Also, our light is not as effective as it was. Now, our speed's barely going down because look at the gravity. <laughs> 0 0.02 uh, Geez, so that's, that's fun. But let's go to the center of the Earth and have some fun over there. Okay, this is the center of the Earth. It's super dark. Actually, this is a really good position right here. I don't know if you get... Okay, there we go. We can actually see now. Yeah, the center of the Earth is super dark and super weird. Now, this is because of some weird thing with the the uh, how the sun is working. Because if I change the time of day, this all... Like, the darkness goes over there. So, it's some weird sun-related thing. But this is the center of the Earth. If I go to the exact center, which is there, then you'll see... Here, let me let me get to zero speed. I'll start hovering around one point. See? I'm, I'm just kind of hovering around this, uh, this one this one point, so my speed's going up and going down, and you'll see that uh, if I go into V, you'll see me kind of like... I don't know, you can see, it's, it's a little tough to see, but you can see I'm kind of like going around uh, this one little point. 
which is the center of the earth. And that's how it would work in real life too. So you'd get to the center of the earth and you'd go right through it uh, to the other side until you come back down. And eventually you'd settle kind of at this one point right here, uh, which is the center of the earth. So welcome to the center. I would say the, that, that myth is definitely busted here because we made it to the center of the earth. Um, our ship didn't get destroyed. Uh, our, our blocks over there are not destroyed. Um, so is there any sort of bedrock situation? No, there's not. You can actually go all the way to the center of the earth. Uh, does your ship get destroyed? Now, possibly it would if you have some sort of trash collection on, but as far as I can tell from this, no, your ship does not get destroyed. You can go to the center of the earth. Now, I want to put an asterisk there because physically, yes, you can go to the center of the earth, but it's going to take a really, really long time. It took me an hour to dig 8,000 kilometers, and I wasn't even the one digging. I just pretty much let the thing go. So it took me an hour to do that with no destruction on. It, it, it would probably take you a full 10 hours, I'd say, to get to the center of the earth uh, organically with, uh, you know, in, in, in survival mode. Um, so, I mean, if you want to spend that time, go for it. I think you can probably do it. I believe in you. Send me that video if you do, because I want to see that. But, um, but yeah, that's, I think that's this myth busted. Let's see what happens to all these blocks. <laughs> They're all converging. <laughs> I wonder if I can make just a big pile of stuff in the center of the earth. Here, let's, let's make a solar system. With the center of the earth is the center of our, of our universe or whatever. The center of our, our uh, galaxy. Look at this, those are all like, all the stars and all the planets, and they're all converging. <laughs> this is so cool. I honestly think we put a bunch of stuff in orbit. Look at it. It's all just kind of like floating around. Look at this, like some of this stuff. This is so cool, I think we made ourselves a galaxy. There's like, these are like little stars flying around. This is so amazing. <laughs> I gotta come back here more often. All right, guys, welcome to the center of the earth. <laughs> it's a party. It's not actually that laggy. It's not that bad. Look at this. It, doesn't it kind of look like a galaxy a little bit? I mean, everything's different colors. And in the galaxy, not everything's always different colors. But still, I think it looks really cool. You know, they're all orbiting. Like, they're not, they're not in space. They're at the center of the earth. And if the center of the earth were hollow, this is exactly what it would look like. If you threw a bunch of boxes there. Oh, a collision. There it is. That's why I bought this game. For those nice collisions. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. The physics engine handle it like a pro. All right, well, that's the end of this one. I've got to say it's a resounding yes. You can get to the center of the earth. You can dig there. Your ships can go there as long as you don't have any sort of uh, trash cleanup that'll destroy them once they get past a certain point. But, uh, but yeah. If you guys liked that episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions, especially suggestions about what you guys might want to see in the future. Oh, there's a red one <laughs> coming out of nowhere. Especially suggestions about what videos you might want to see in the future uh, from this series. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Busters. I kind of want to just leave it like this for a... Like, this looks so cool. I just want to leave it right here. I'll let you guys watch it if you want. Maybe we'll just leave it like this for five minutes. Oh, oh. <laughs> that white one just saved me. Oh, 
Oh god, a collision course! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Oh, that actually didn't hurt. Oh, goodbye, salmon block. All right, that's enough. <laughs> 